Hey folks, how are you doing? This is F3 at Aragon, and uh, well, we didn't qualify. Strength of field is 1.6, so we are car 2 in position 16, and we're losing 81 IR, which is not ideal, but I'm really looking forward to this week, so I had to give this first race of the week a go. Really, really looking forward to this. I'm hoping for a decent race. I'm hoping this circuit raced relatively well because it was very, very fun to do on the track, guys. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. So I will see you at the yellow flag at turn one. The track temp is 43. The air temp is 25 Celsius. 15 laps. Okay, turning. Get ready. Go. Okay then. On your right. Hold your line. Clear right. Not quite sure how I missed all of that, but um That was interesting. Do you see that car come hurling in at like a million miles an hour? Who was that? I saw him at the corner of my eye, and that's a weird thing to say, but corner of my eye in the mirror, and I was like, uh, well, I'm not turning in. I'm just breaking in a straight line, so... Yeah. I'm so glad I wasn't caught up in that, because I'd be really, really disappointed if I did get taken out at turn one. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I am so looking forward to this week. This is a very nice circuit to practice on, and uh, yeah, it was it was a joy to drive. So I'm hoping we can uh, keep that going. And this straight is just gonna, uh, uh, you know, attract dive bombs, isn't it? Let's be honest. Just got to get you braking right. I'm going to be careful with that kink as well because you can lose the rear end so, so easily. It's a bit of a late move, 21. So easy to get an off track there, so easy. That's not an overtaking move there. I almost died there. I almost died. Okay, field is very spread out at the minute. Hunter has a damaged wing. Oh, 
That corner right there does not fill me with any confidence whatsoever. I do, I do like this circuit. I'm just driving around here and it's just bloody awesome. Just really, really fun. <laughs> hey, I'm catching up with Tony. Hi, Tony. He did say something on the start straight that he was the quickest Tony. So um, we need to try and catch him and put that right. And you can see on the relative, we have our own Jack in here, which you uh, may know from the streams if you do watch along. Big lock up into that. That's not ideal. What is my brake bias? 55. Let's drop that down a little bit. Lee is in the 51.9, so I need to pull my finger out. 53.9. Crew chief is, is being harsh there. I mean, it is technically nearer to 54 than 53, but we'll gloss over that. Yeah, that cool. It, 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 it's, a, it's a really open corner, but when you go through it, it's quite snug. This corner's a little bit clumsy, so you just kind of have to deal with it and just kind of focus on the exit. But there's a lot of corners in here that are just flat out, just sort of on the limit of being flat out, which is bloody awesome. This is fun through here bit wide into there. I don't like taking that line, really. And I, I think, I, you know, I'm so nervous about that bloody potato curb that's there. It, it really compromises my exit onto this corner. I really don't want to touch them. Um, I mean, there's a good little gaggle up ahead. Oh, battling in the, the air also thick on this damn thing. Come on, iRacing, you've done a wonderful thing and given us the graphical option now to get rid of halos, uh, aero screens, roll cages. Can we add the F3 aerial to that, please? I mean, look at the size of it. Literally, I can't see cars there. Oh, we're getting quicker, 53. That's what I want. I keep forgetting this race is like 15 laps. We've only done five of them. That's a bit wide. Uh-oh. Be a good little gaggle. Right, well, this could get spicy. 
I like it a lot, and we still got like 10 laps to go. I'm, I'm not sure why you break there, but okay. Yeah, but I was already overlapping you. I'm more disappointed about the borax. And I think I've got wing damage. Let's have a look at me relative. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe we got away with it. The delta time isn't going down. I'll make it more clear next time. Sorry about that. You're all good. We live to fight another day. Oh, well, may as well get some more X's now. <laughs> I got a 4X, so may as well get an off track. Please apologize for it. I thought, you know, it's a bit of a late move there. And then when we were next to him, he decided to sort of break and we kind of just went into him. That's helped Jack a little bit, isn't it? Up in P4. <laughs> Wanting to catch Jack. Well, the guys behind did catch up briefly, um, but we're pulling the camp on them, which is nice. So I can sort myself out and uh, and, pull, and pull my finger out. I think I might be able to get. Bing! I might be able to catch up that car ahead. I'm hoping so. And that group ahead, which would be ideal. A little bit slidey through there. There was an apex somewhere. Don't defend, Jack. Don't defend. That's my line. Oh, thank you, Tony.
He didn't need to do that. Bless him. Oh. Yeah, I keep the tights for that. I wonder. Don't defend. Don't defend. I want to get away from. Opera. Was he letting us past? So he went over to the right hand side. Was down. he going to let us pass on the racing line? But we were already next to him by that point. Ah, okay. So maybe he's looking for a clean, you know, clean race. Ah, okay. That might explain why he went right over to the track. Maybe he didn't know I was there. Maybe I thought he thought I was still on the left hand side of the circuit rather than right. Always try and put yourself in someone else's shoes before you start, you know, getting on the radio. And I said, sort of like, you know, what was that sort of thing? You know, why did you break there? But. I think he was probably trying to let us pass. Always try and be polite on the radio, because you never know what decisions, uh, what reasons they've made for that decision. We still don't know. We are guessing, but still. Right, where's Jack? Five seconds up the road. We've only got six laps left. Damn. Am I gaining? I gained one second then. One second. Always take first there. Second just feels to bloody understeer like a... Boat. <laughs> I was trying to think of an analogy. Can we catch up to the group ahead? I'm hoping so, but driving like I've just done in the past few corners, definitely not. This must be the slowest corner on iRacing. I mean, the only competitor would be Long Beach in the, the last corner. But I, I, I think that's slower. It just feels like so clumsy through there. Oh, that corner's a real awkwardness for off tracks. I definitely couldn't be quicker through that corner. Losing a bit of time. And I feel into there as well, but I feel like the car's so like the rear end, you still want to keep on top of it, sort of thing. You don't want to lose the rear end through there. So I'm a little bit like a bit cautious. Don't think oh, we got five laps. Well, four, no, five laps. End of this one is still five laps. Okay, that's good. Still gives me time. I mean, that is a good gackle up there. It's four cars.
Okay, no off back. We are gaining. Come on. Mush. Do better. They're doing low 53s as well. I need to be catching them quicker than what I'm doing. Right, concentrate your face now. Oops. What was that, you absolute fool? Yeah, not gonna lie, that was interesting. It's hard jack again, isn't it? Damn it. Told you that guy's dangerous. I mean... Kudos for the insult, calling him a spoon. That is awesome. Definitely going to turn that into a clip, Jack. I think my spotter missed Tony as well earlier. You gonna go for it? Oh, Jack's in the pits! No! Well, that doesn't help. Yeah, he's going to wreck us. Okay, he didn't wreck us. Come on, Thomas! Let's run away!
Maybe his driving is a little bit erratic. Yeah, like that. Just shoulder barge that dude out of the way in the mirror. How many eggs we got? Six. That's not bad. I could do better. Unless Eric makes a mistake, he's got a lovely podium out of this. Well done, Eric. Oh, I've just jinxed him, haven't I? Sorry, Eric. That white flag comes up early. But then again, the line is quite close. The line is there. Well, I was trying to go for the fastest lap there, hence why I took a little bit more um, thingy into that corner, but I've already fu- <laughs> I was going to say something, I'd already effed it up. <laughs> ah, that was a wide corner anyway. And that was a terrible corner as well. Too much breaking into the corner, you stupid moron. wide. Oh, I just... What? How harsh is that? Harsh. Nice race with you. Yeah, yeah, P4. I did like this circuit. A little bit of issues with a few drivers, but that Tony guy, I think he was letting me pass. I'll have a conversation with him afterwards to make sure we're all good. Okay. But yeah. Well done, That's not bad at all. Well, let's go look at the carnage. Oh, wow. It's, yeah, I've just seen it. It's always gone. <laughs> it's huge. Right, well, what we need to do is look at the start because we got attacked by an absolute missile through here. So let me get to this point. So this guy's sensible here on the right-hand side. He moves out of the way. And then this dude here, look over on the left-hand side. He's never going to make that. Plants it. I don't know how we miss him there. Gets collected again. It's like, dude, it's lap one. I mean, I've got to watch that again. It's that bad. All right, so here we are on board, and the breaking point on a hot day is 100 meters. And he, he seems to, like, dive it in, and it's like... <sighs> and then a guy appears out of nowhere and then disappears. I mean, seriously? Come on. 
Come on, mate. That's a, that's a, oh, and then, oh dear. That's a bit unlucky. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That's a bit, that was completely avoidable, but okay. Uh, I hear issues behind. Right, did, what, what happened here? I heard screeching tires. Oh, he's losing the back end. He's gone. He's, oh, 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 that's unlucky. That is unlucky. Did this guy keep going? Oh, he's got a massive drift on. No, uh, no, he's off to Narnia. Poor dude. Right, this is the dude behind me. What happened here? Oh, yeah. What on earth was he doing there? So I get a better drive out of the uh, the really awkward hairpin and get a better drive up the hill. So I actually get the overtake done here. Gives loads of room on the inside, which is awesome. And then uh, I got the job done there. So I stay in a straight line just up the hill. He's got slipstream. And at this point, I mean, he does well to hold on to everything. And he goes for the move. I see it coming, to be honest. He locks up a little bit, but he kind of makes the apex there, which is fine. I think that's kind of a bit of a... Uh, uh, he, he probably should have waited. There's a massive straight coming up, to be honest. He probably should have waited to the straight. But there was nothing wrong with that move. Absolutely fine. So at this point, it's all gravy. He's, he's, a, he's far behind. He's off the racing line at this point. Now, I compromised this corner to come over to the right-hand side quite drastically to get a switch back to straight in the corner up. So it's always a closing door. So he, he, I'm kind of like, well... Why wouldn't you follow me and get the slipstream down the straight? Don't try and get the overtake done in that corner. Um, and then he, I think he loses out to this position as well. Let's fast forward it a little bit. Yeah, so he does lose it into the hairpin. Yeah, a bit awkward. All right, what was this dude? Oh, we're, we're, we're drifting, we're drifting, we're drifting. We're doing a few donuts. Please don't rejoin. Okay, good man, good man. Very safe. I like that rejoin. Well done, mate. Into the hairpin. What's going on here? Oh, the guy behind. Oh, hey. Too much of the right foot. I have that problem as well. All right, coming into the end of the bus stop. Really awkward corner. Oh, there's the potato curb. Horrible thing. All right, what are we doing here? Okay. Oh, guy drifting. Oh, dude, that's unlucky. Oh, that that's harsh as the camera jinx out a little bit. Easy on the power there, mate. It's very easy to go face that. Done that a few times in practice. What's going on here, then? That doesn't help. Okay, gets the move done. Leave space on the outside again, which is nice. Had a massive blink in the middle. So that probably terrified the car we were actually overtaking. Nicely done. Oh, good drift. Well held. Now you've got hot tyres. Careful. That's an... Mm, okay, it's, there was space there, but it was a little bit unfortunate. The orange car was uh, nice and optimistic there, and you're giving him loads of room, so that's fair enough. Yeah, a little bit opportunist there. Could have gone badly wrong if Netco had faced the other way. Are anything going to happen up here? Oh, no, a bit of lock-up, but we're all golden. Into the very awkward... This corner, you're like, you want to get a good exit. You just clip that potato curb, and you've got a little bit of wiggle. That's not too bad. Do you get the overtake done? You're on the outside. Oh, you try... Oh... Apologies, dude. You try and get the switch back there. All right, what's going on here? Oh, a bit late for that one, mate. And we're at the same place. Yeah, it's a pain in the rear corner. All right, what are we doing here? Getting a bit of Tokyo Drift on. There she goes. That's a bit biggest thing with the F3 is controlling that rear end. Oh, a little bit of a wheel. Hey, a little bit slidey. Oh, this is Jack. Oh, wow, the guy just actually does, like, leave him no space at all. And that's Jack. Oh, some rocks. That's a good view. Uh, rear wing, mangled your rear end. Yep, yeah, Jack's knackered. That's annoying. I mean, he gets, a, he gets a massive slide there. And at this point, I'll be looking at my mirror to see where Jack is because he gets a massive wiggle on, leaves the door open, and then just seems to... There's net code there, and then there's just, like, you can't... You need to leave the space there, don't you? 
So there we have it, first race of the week at Aragon, and uh, yeah, I did enjoy it, thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know how we survived it, and as mentioned, that Tony guy did absolutely nothing wrong in the video. He was letting me pass, he just didn't realise I was that close that quickly, uh, which is absolutely fine. I need to, that. you know, that's something I can take away from as well. If someone does do that quite drastically, I thought he was defending, and then he lifted off, but it was, as you saw, I, I think I showed it, I'm pretty sure I would have shown it, the net code was absolutely massive, it was horrendous, it was literally like a foot of net code. We would have been absolutely fine uh, had it not been the net code and wouldn't have been an issue because there was a there was, I, when I mentioned it there was an overlap and I thought we were like this by the contact but we were actually like this and it was just pure net code so is what it is uh, like I say I apologize Tony for my part because I should have been a bit more aware of what I was doing coming across like that so uh, yeah we'll, we'll see what happens otherwise thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the next one